and we're gonna hope for the best. So let's take a second, you guys at home while I'm doing this, and say a little prayer for me, please, and for the fish. They're more than 60 hours in a box. Child! Wow. Brian, look at this fish! <laughs> Dude, I'm so done. I was so tired. Are you tired? Grab your neck. Guys, we had to cut that video short because we have a lot going on, but we basically, there's no flights right now from China to, to JFK. And one of the reasons why we want to come here is because of all the flights available. So we had to receive it in LA. Kevin's there right now, but he doesn't have anything to repack the fish and just put it in a plane and ship it. So everything arrives sideways. So when I tell you like all of us were just like, holy, beep. you know, you can do the B sound, the B sound. <laughs> well, beep, not the P, what the hell? I'm just too tired. But we saved a lot of the fish, especially the Chinese perch. As I said on the video, they are all sideways. And we were able to get them all, not all of them, but we saved a lot of them. I, did, I didn't expect three to be alive. So a lot of them are already up, doing well, eating. These guys right here are the Phoenix, Red Phoenix Barbs. They're really cool as well. Uh, we have the little leopard cactus. Look at this, this cool of them right here. It looks super cool. Awesome little black holes. So there's a lot that you're gonna see in this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoy. I don't wanna show you everything because you gotta watch the unboxing, but there is a lot of cool fish that came into the shipment. And we also had an African shipment come in right after that with some insane stuff. I'll show you this one because it's already sold. Look at this guy. That's a huge Aba Aba. Literally around 30 inches. And he's ready for his new home. There he is, he's hiding but from us. Awesome, awesome fish. So we got all that. Like I wish I could actually take one of those Aba and put them right here with the fish that we're growing out for our monster tank when we have it ready. Because we have everything, pretty much. Albino Arwana, Giardini, uh, Vampire Fish, uh, Phantom, Orange Gar, or Yellow Gar. There's a Yellow Datinoid right here. He's getting his colors back. Arapimus. Literally everything that we are going to put on our monster tank. We already start growing them out. And these guys are doing insanely good. I even put the Planiceps in here, which is right there in the middle in the bottom, to the right. Oh, we're in the bottom. Yeah, that, that, that catfish on the bottom. That's the planiceps. It's just hard to see with the water moving. And I put the wolf fish here as well. And the wolf fish is doing great. He's not attacking nobody. Everybody's doing good. So this tank right here, I got to say, this is my pride and joy right now from everything else because this is what's going to go on the monster tank. Right, man? High five. High five to monster fish. You're yeah. <laughs> pound for rare fish. No, no, no. Pound. Pound. Pound, bro. Pound. Come on, pound. He doesn't count. <laughs> All right, well, and then everything here too is full of fish from the new shipments that came in. But like I said, if you guys wanna see everything, watch this unboxing video and the ones after because Matt's already got them all worked up. All right, I'll see you guys next time or next video. Third shipment of the day. We just got back from the airport. Now, let me tell you about this shipment a little bit. It came from Asia and there was no direct flights to JFK. And that's one of the reasons why we came to JFK or <laughs> That's how you call. It. It's like a, you know, a mating sound like a dinosaur man does. So there's no flights available um, from China to JFK. So this shipment had to go to LA. Kevin just took it and he doesn't have anything there anymore to repack the shipment. So basically all he did was take it from one flight and put on that X and the flight got delayed. So making things better. I don't know the conditions of the fish. I just know that we're spending a lot of money on this order and we're gonna hope for the best. So let's take a second, you guys at home while I'm doing this, and say a little prayer for me, please, and for the fish. Thank you. Matt, you too. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Box number one, and this guy is doing great. You come down here, Matt. Oh, Look okay. at this. 
This is one of the oh. fish that I was very excited about getting. This is a white tiger shuffle nose, and it's a big one too. So the water looks a little cloudy. I'm gonna go ahead and put them somewhere here so you can start getting acclimated. But this is one of them that I was worried about, and he's alive, so let's get him going. But what a beautiful fish. We had two smaller ones, and we're most likely gonna keep this guy, but look at it. To be that size, he's a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right, well, box number one started already with a bang because that thing is rare. You know what rare is, bro? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Sometimes my wife doesn't know that. All these other boxes. There's a lot of boxes. There's definitely a lot of boxes. Let's just hope that they're doing okay. These are L26. No, wait, wait sorry. L600s. Leopard cactus. Good Ooh. size on them. Exactly. Beautiful plecos. All right. We can let them float. I think they got a hole. They got a little... Uh, yeah. They peed at me. Kasha, here you go. They if you can, off. I wish we had uh, numbers on things. You can put up the flow on that top left one. <laughs> and for you guys that didn't see the last unboxing video, Kasha is Matt's boy. Ooh. Matt's girlfriend. <laughs> and this is my wife. <laughs> why? Oh, why? <laughs> Keep your wife's name. Keep my wife's name out your. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Love those, man. Okay, so this is more L600. You can help Kasha over there. Let them me. Box number one so far, everybody was good. So this is, they're more than 60 hours in a box. Child! Listen here! Stop turning red! Okay? <laughs> People are getting mad? Yes! He tells no every time. No. Yeah? Alright. <laughs> I mean, I would hate to be in jail too. Look at him, he's in jail. Okay. You want to jump up there and start getting the yeah. boxes open? Whoa, whoa, I got, whoa, I got whoa, whoa. Muscles is back. Oh. <laughs> Keep my what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's do this. You got to do something about that guy. I'm just going to have to chill out a minute. His teeth are coming out, right? Yeah, he's got four big molars coming in at once, so he's a little yeah, bit... Yeah, I don't even know what those are. Adam. Okay. I know, Matt, you're trying to help, I know. He's trying. Oh, my. Okay, so these were selected grade Here. spider kale berries. No, I want to save this bag. Save one, one bag at a time, you save the world, you know. The turtles. Yeah, the turtles, turtles. everything. No straws, they were good. But they're looking good. And look, look at the way they're packed. This is a new technique. Wow, Whoa. look at the quality. You got You can't tell me this is not top grade quality. Fish are looking healthy. And look at this bag. There's no opening. So I don't, even, I don't even know. If you ask me how they do this, I don't even know. So I won't even be able to tell you. But they're all doing good. Brian, look at this fish. Yay! <laughs> He looks so happy. He looks so happy. All right, so let's uh, float these guys out and jump into another box. Okay, we had a whole box of Chinese perch, but they're not doing too well, so we're gonna have to leave Lisa there, taking care of them, and to see what we can save while we jump into another box. 
Oh, wow. Look at the yellow on these guys. These are albino iguanas, but I can also see some of them are starting to swim sideways. So let's go ahead, get these guys in a tank, and start acclimating them right away and jump in on the box. All right, so this one right here, I think is some type of red cheek. So these guys are red cheek barb or red cheek masir. I'm gonna find out. I don't know exactly because I didn't look at the invoice, but they look they're pretty cool. They, they look just like a masir. But we'll put the scientific, I'll make sure that Matt puts the scientific name on the screen for you guys to see. So we got these guys, they're all looking okay. Let me see if there's anything else different in here. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, so this is the holy grail of the puffer world. Whoa. This is a cross river puffer. Really cool, we got two of them. Once you acclimate, you see all the red spots on him. This one is looking okay, but let's see this guy. Yeah, you see all the red spots? See them a little bit, yeah. Dude, we'll see better in the tank. So it's good to see them swimming. These guys are pretty rare in the hobby. They're not that cheap even to bring in. This is another bag of the Messiers or the red cheek barbs. So let's put those guys away. Let's see what's in here. Let's get these two boxes going. So these are the loaches, Imperial loaches. Good size, around four inches. More Imperial loaches, more. More Imperial loaches, okay. All right, so this whole box of loaches, that, that. We're gonna put these guys away, try to help anything else that need help, and we jump into another box. All right, come on. Come on, help me check, ready? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so in right here in this bag, Brian, check it out, dude. You're gonna like this guy. These are, I believe they're red monkeys. I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna say it right or not, but look. Right now their colors is a little, Faded, but these guys are super super red. Maybe it's just the stress of shipping. So what we're gonna do We're gonna leave them here. We're gonna pour some of this water in there and see if the they can get their colors back But besides these bags on this one right here We still got a few boxes to go We have a good amount of Jardinis and they're really really pretty good quality good color All alive and well. Let's see what else we got they're all Jardinis? Dude, they're all Jardinis. So that's a lot of like good quality Jardinis. The problem is, I don't think you can put them together. So that's a lot of them. We're just gonna have to figure out. Oh. Bro, are you paying him? Did you pay him? Did you write him a check today? I paid him. It's Saturday. He should have got paid yesterday. I paid him to be loud and obnoxious. Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> More, job. more uh, red monkeys. Yeah. They're not albino. They're just like a little faded because of the freight. These are jerk cousins. Yes, pretty oh, much. Nice. So this is gonna be. We might have to keep keep one of them. Mm -hmm. oh, we might as well just name you Ryan to get some active this way. All right, so we're gonna go put these guys away. And 